Hi, welcome to my scanner videos and this is the Uniden 125XLT. It's the latest model covering analog bands. So when you first turn this on, it's just going to beep at you. So let's look at some of the, the basics. Number one is the top button. If you push it down is the volume. Okay, push it again and the volume will go. If you want the squelch, you're going to press the function button here. And then you're going to push down the volume and it's you can turn the volume knob and adjust the squelch and remember to push it again. So when you first get this, it will probably beep at you and you'll push a button and it'll, it might just beep at you. Let's try search. It's just beeping. Why is it searching? Because if you look here where it says SRC for search, everything is unselected. So what do these lines mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to naught. Okay, let's just press number one. And look, it's going to start searching what is pre-programmed into your scanner okay out of the box which is very nice if you want to freeze that press hold and it's now frozen it when it's frozen you can change frequency up and down with the let's call it the volume knob if you want to set this step the frequency step the gaps between the frequency go f and you've got a shortcut here f lights up on the screen and you can go f and it does time out the f step you can change the step. Once you've selected what you want, 6.25 is quite good. Press enter. Okay, and you can still, or you can press scan, and it will just keep scanning. We need to press search actually, not scan, search. There you go, quite good until we hear something. It is a BNC antenna connector, so let's just, lots of options out there. The one I've got on here at the moment, if, you can buy an adapter if you've got lots of SMA antennas, is the RH771. It's okay, but it's going to be as good as the hill that you're stood on, if, you, if that makes any sense. It's your location that really matters. But if you've got a nice antenna in the loft or on the roof, then that's going to do very well for you. Let's type in a frequency. So we'll press hold. So you see hold appear there. And we're going to type in 145 dot. 600 that is a local repeater and then we're going to press not enter we're going to press hold and it's now gone to that frequency if there's activity it will actually read the ctcss and tell you the ctcss remember this is a receiver so you don't you haven't got to worry about transmitting you can also lock out a frequency by pressing this button here see it says lo for lock out you can just press it and it will lock it out watch this temporary lockout Unlocked, temporary lockout. There you go. You, so you can stop hearing that if, it, if it's coming through too often. You can also select a thing called close call. Close call means that anything strong that's near you is going to come through and you're going to see it. Now you can select if you, want it, if you want to see it when you're listening to something else. So let's select it. We go F and then we'll click the hold button, close call. And now we can select the mode. You've got close call bands, close call alert, and scan hits, set delay. That's, that's a more advanced, I would say. Keep it simple for this video. Go, keep it on close call mode. And then push down on the volume or press enter. And you really, the most common one I would say is the do not disturb one. Priority means you're going to hear it, whatever you're listening to. But close call do not disturb means, if we press that and then go back to scanning, means it will only come through if something strong um, comes in. What... And, but it will let you finish listening to what you're listening to first. So I'll try, I've got my, my handheld here, my ham radio. I'm just going to key up and see if it does come through. M0 FXB, M0 FXB. And it has come through. And it did say press any key to see what I was doing. Let's do it again. M0 FXB. It's, it's the wrong, it's showing the wrong frequency, but it's coming through. I've tested it before and it does work better than that, but that was a bit of a fail. But anyway, let's carry on. Quick one is the light, look, light on and off, or go function and then the on off button. Not that that is the on off button. And you can set the backlight and the contrast. I like the contrast really high. You know, it's nice and dark then the writing. Enter. Charge time, because you know, there's no circuit for the batteries and they are rechargeable batteries. Let's pull it down. Now, if you do use rechargeable batteries, there is a switch underneath and it's it's written on there you can see the switch just about deep in there and if you flick it to the 
right is for NiMH batteries on the left alkaline. So NiMH is the rechargeable, is the rechargeable one. So get them in the right way around. You don't want any problems. And you, you know, if you're if you've got a cover and it's damaged, you can actually buy these for about six pound. So yeah, when you take it off, you might think, well, that's a bit flimsy, but well, that's okay. You can get a new one, and it's got a nice belt clip as well. And it's off at the moment. Let's turn it on. There's your charging and PC programming, and you get a nice little carrying strap as well. Really good. I, th I think you get a lot for your money myself. But anyway, you can tell I'm a fan. So let's press hold, and this time we're going to press F, and then turn this key. Go F, let's go right, F, scan. Now let's do it right. So when we press scan, it beeps at us, and you'll get this when you first turn it on. Start to press all the numbers. Each number is a bank of channels. Okay, so if you if we let it scan now, need to get the squelch a bit higher. So we go F, then push down, squelch. Yeah, there's something quite strong coming in. Push down and then definitely something coming through, but it's scanning and you can turn off the banks that it's scanning, watch. You've got one, you know, all the numbers here. I'm pretty sure if you push F and then turn, you can scroll through that way as well. You're scanning the different banks. If you go F, then search, it will start to scan the pre-programmed banks as well. But they have titles. F, and then we'll turn. That's not doing anything. Let's just deselect items. And if you push the numbers, you're deselecting items here. We deselect all of them. And six, you get nothing. So if you just select one, that's your aircraft one that's coming through there. And then you can select them all again by pressing all the numbers. See something you like, press hold. And remember, you can, not, you can lock it out if you don't like it. Let's have a look at the main menu on this. So we go F, enter. And you start to get at the main channel menu. And you can save a frequency. Set delay, CTCSS search, set the modulation. If you push that, look, we'll go back, just right, selecting it, AM and FM, because this, this is not a DMR set. And just press search again, it takes you back where you were. Or we'll press scan, you're scanning all the banks. Press search, you're scanning all the, all the things that you've put into the, into, programmed into the device. And it's only one showing there, so we go two, three, four, five. Turn them all back on. Go F search. That's what you want. It's F search is the ones that are pre-programmed. Otherwise, you just search, and then you're just scanning the banks. Let's try this F beep. F beep. Beep off. F beep. Beep on. So we could try priority. F priority. Set the priority channel, and then that will come through. Do not disturb is what DND stands for. Priority means it's, good, it's definitely going to come for, come through. Let's go back to scan. They actually call it, when you go F and then search, they actually call that the service search. The service is all the different types of services. So you can have marine, ham, and airband, aviation, just on and on and on. Go back to scan, that's just scanning everything. If you press hold, that's when you can just type in the frequency. And also when you press hold, you can flick through the items that you're either on service, search, or just a uh, an open scan. You can go through as well. You can actually lock the keypad if you go F, then lock, F, lock, look. You've locked the keypad, go F, lock. And you've unlocked it. That means that close call is turned on. Do you remember how we turn that on? You go F, hold. Close call mode, select it with your volume pushing down. Select it again, we just turn that off. Back to scanning. Or F, search, which is service search. Another discovery is if you just press F, 
then turn the volume, you go through the different banks. So it's like a manual selection of the different banks, look. So if we just go, if we're scanning like normal, let's go back to scan, then go F and then turn this, look, see the banks are changing. So F without pressing anything else takes you through the different banks. Let's hold F like so. Well, I hope this helps you because I am a newbie and I'm learning, to, and but I'm enjoying learning. Remember with this, you can pick it up and you can go anywhere you want and you can scan the analog frequencies within this device and it's inexpensive and there's lots of accessories lots of free software you can you can you know you can save everything to your pc manipulate it you can on your pc you can have a virtual screen as well i've connected this to my arc software and that looks great i'll show you that and then we'll end the end the video and then let's have fun with our new scanner hobby let's plug the cable back in goes in here like so and this device is a few years old and it's still you know doing a fine job the software I purchased looks like this about 25 pound uh, radio world I think or moonraker they probably have them uh, but you can just buy it online and put in the key I'll just quickly show you I plugged in the scanner it says here read from scanner we're gonna go read it's reading everything. Making sure oh, it thinks it's turned off, so we'll turn it on. Let's try the virtual control. We'll double click this. See if we can get a screen up. So there's our virtual control. We'll click VC setup. It's COM7. And then we'll go, well, we've got start there. So let's just stop and start. See if it connects. There you are. And if we tell it to search, we'll scan there, there's scan. And then search, search in banks, scan, hold. We can type in a frequency, one, four, five, um, dot, seven, five, zero, enter, either. And away we go, we can save it and everything, so. And everything I'm doing is is, is shown. So, and we obviously saved all these parameters that you're seeing here on the left top. And look at all the other options we've got. I'm not going to show this now because I want to do this a proper video on this separately. But, you know, this one's called the ARC125. And I think if you've bought the scanner to keep forever, I think it's really, it's almost a must-have a must have you know device. And it gives you the interactivity that you're going to get with a very modern scanner. Uh, like the SDS 100. So bye for now. Please remember to like and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.